reception, it's Mrs Sharp. Welcome back to another click session. We're doing really well this week, so thank you if you have joined me on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And it's now Thursday. Fantastic. Shall we begin? Okay, sit up straight. Deep breath in. And you are going to try and beat me today. You're going to say what you see before I do. Are you going to accept the challenge? I heard you. Challenge accepted. It's on. Okay. Oh, it's just doing something. Here we go. Right. You can do your counting songs at any time in the day, you might want to do them before you start or you might want to do them after this session or any time in the day. It's up to you. Right, say what you see. You're going to beat me or am I going to beat you? One. One. Four. Four metres. Four. Four, two and two. Did you see that two? Two. Two. Two Numicon. Six. 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 Five, 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 eight, eight, oh, we're whipping through these, eight, three, are you getting there before I do? I can hear you. Three. 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 Nine metres. Well done. Nine. Did you get there before I did? Nine. Nine. It's on its side, it doesn't change. Seven. 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 Ten. I, I just want to double check. Sometimes I get the eight and ten mixed up. Will you count with me? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Well done. The blue is ten. Ten. Ten add one. One more than ten. Thank you. I heard you. Eleven. Eleven. A one and a one. Eleven. And our new number is one more than eleven. It's 12, well done. 10 add 2 equals 12. Okay, what number is hidden here? I haven't, I have not had a look, so I don't know. We're playing along at home. Okay, I think I will write the numbers along the top again. And then if you need a little bit more time to talk through what you want your num your answer to be, then just press pause. And of course, as always, you can write your numbers down. Do you remember the other day I told you about sometimes the computers make numbers look a bit different? So sometimes a three goes straight across and down and sometimes it's curved. Well, sometimes a number one is straight down. Sometimes a one has a little hat on, like this. 
and sometimes a number one has a little hat straight down and a little foot. So sometimes the numbers do look slightly different when we're playing this game. Right, let's get the numbers written along the top. One. Remember, it could look a different way as well. Two. Three. Count with me. Four. Five. Stop. Six. Seven, eight, and nine. You might want to press pause if you want a bit more time. Okay, poof, they've gone. Mm. Now, this has really been playing on my mind because I can see it looks like it goes straight down here. But then there is a little something here. I think I'm going to go for, well, let's see, I was thinking of a six. But then this little bit confused me. So I'm thinking maybe it could be a one like this. I'm not sure. I think I'll go for one. What are you going for? Right, let's reveal the hidden Woohoo! It's a number one and it has the little hat on top that I was talking about. Well done if you got that right. That was a really hard one today. Okay, let's move on. Learn it, say what you see. Join in with me. We'll do it once with our fingers and then we'll do it once with our eyes closed. So make sure you're saying it nice and clearly. One add one equals two. Eyes closed. One add one equals two. Yes! Next one. We can celebrate if we get it right after that. Use your fingers. Two. Add two equals four, eyes closed. Two, add two equals four. Yes! Okay, let's read that number sentence. Three, add three equals six, eyes closed. Three, add three equals six. Are you celebrating at home too? Last one. Four, add four, equals eight. Eyes closed. Four, add four, equals eight. Yes! Fabulous. Okay, we're moving on to our calculation. I love that word. It's such a brilliant mathematician word. Can you say calculation? Okay, if we're doing calculations, we're doing some adding today. We've been doing it all week. We will be experts by the end of this week. Right, okay, as always, we need to really carefully read this number sentence. If we don't read it properly, then we might get the wrong answer. Let's read it together. Five. Add one equals five. Add one equals. What does that look like? This is the time where you need to get some things to help you count and to show what it looks like. So if you need a little bit of time, just press pause. Okay. What does five add one look like? It looks like this. I've got five circles here and I've got one circle here. I've put them in a line to make it neat and to help me count really carefully as I go along. I'm not just shove them all up like this. I wouldn't know where to start. 
So if you've got your things to help you count, make sure they're really neat. What do we say? Messy mathematicians make mistakes. Look cross and let's say that. Messy mathematicians make mistakes. Have you done it really neatly? If you want to, you can take a photo and send in your neat counting to tapestry. Okay, let's just double check. We've got five here. One, two, three, four, five. We have. Let's check. We've got one. We have. We're good at subitizing, aren't we? Just seeing it and saying it. Okay, let's count them all to find the total. We don't stop here, we just carry on counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done, the total is six. Five add one equals six. Fantastic. And that's just reminded me, if you want to go onto YouTube and type in subitize to five, there's some really good songs on there. Uh, Jack Hartman's done some subitizing songs or subitize to 10 for a challenge. Check out those songs and let me know what you think. Reception, you'll never believe it. We've finished another click session. Where are these going? We're just knocking them out of the park. Well done. You've worked really hard. We can't wait to see your photos if you send them in. Thank you and have a wonderful day.